Hey guys, welcome back to RWM Finance. Uh, my name is Weston McKinley and our mission here at RWM Finance is to try and help everybody achieve financial freedom. So today's topic is going to be some advantages of investing in the S&P 500. Investing in the S&P 500 is something that Warren Buffett, Benjamin Graham, and Tony Robbins all suggest doing as a investment strategy. Investing in the S&P 500 is a really easy way to grow your profits because I mean you just put the money in there and you just allow it to grow. It's completely different than you know buying individual stocks because you're not just investing in one single stock, you're investing in the entire stock market. It's a perfect strategy for the lazy investor who doesn't want to be sitting there and trying to you know pick and choose good stocks that's gonna try and, that way he can try and beat the market so to say. Instead of trying to beat the market, you just mimic the market Market, and that allows your investments to grow at a much easier rate and a much easier you know pace than trying to you know beat the market and just because I said it's for the lazy type of investor does not mean that for a more aggressive type of investor like it doesn't mean that it's not for that type of person I mean that would, for it's investing in this type of uh, you know fund is for anybody so here are some of the advantages of investing in the S&P 500. So right off the bat, advantage number one is that you're investing in the entire U.S. economy. You're not just picking individual stocks like you're not, you know, you're not picking like Tesla, you're not picking like Apple or Coca-Cola, you know, you're investing in 500 of the best companies in the entire stock market. That's what the S&P 500 stand, er, stands for. That's, what's, that's what you're investing in. You're investing in those the best 500 companies in the stock market. So it makes it much simpler because you're not just investing in an individual company and whatever happens with that company is that that's it, that's final. With this, you know, if one company's going up and one company's going down, you know, then it kind of cancels it out. So, I mean, the U.S. economy has never not come out of a depression or a recession or even, you know, just a dip in the market. It always comes out and, it's, and it always rises at the end of the day. That's, so that's one reason or that's one advantage of investing in the S&P 500. So another advantage of investing in the S&P 500 is that compound interest works to your advantage. So compound interest is, according to, uh, I think, Albert Einstein is considered the eighth wonder of the world according to him it whenever your money starts to grow and you know say the stock price of that starts to rise you end up making money so by making money on that and continuing to invest it you allow the new money to can to make money with the old money so you're basically investing your investment makes money and then that new money makes even more money so literally it's just money making money and that by investing in the S&P 500, it allows compound interest to you know work to your advantage. So if you're really wanting to grow your investment, then uh, investing in the S&P 500 would be a really good way to do so. So another advantage of the investing in the S&P 500 is that it takes emotions out of the entire equation. You know, by not by not investing in single stocks or single company, you just you don't have to really like try and time the market so you're not like up late you're not trying to look up you know uh you're not basing things off of feel you know you if you have a feeling that the stock price is going to fall you're not going to sell you know it, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff because you're investing in the entire market the 500 best companies in the market so there's no reason for you to be emotional about your decisions you should I mean, if you just were to put dollar cost average and invest $200 into it each month, I mean, that'd be perfect for you. Uh, it, it just, there's no thinking with it. You know that it's going to rise. You know that the companies are going to do well. They're the 500 best companies. I mean, why wouldn't they do well? And the thing is, they continual up, continually update those 500 companies. So, I mean, it's not going to be the same 500 because once they get in, you know, they have to, they have to, keep they have to keep those same fundamentals that got them into that 500 to stay in that 500 they have to continually make, keep making progress and keep doing well in order to stay in there which will which lets you know that those companies are good and they're good value and you know that's there's a reason that they're there in the s p 500 which shows you that that's that's a good company it's a good you know 
fun to invest in. Another advantage of investing in the S&P 500 is that it's easy for anyone to do. All you need is to sign up for an investing app. You could use Robinhood, you could use Webull, you could use uh, Charles Schwab, Merrill Lynch, whichever one you feel comfortable using. And once you use it, you just look up the S&P 500 or you can invest in, you could invest in the S&P 500 itself through the index fund, or you can invest in the S&P 500 through an ETF like the uh, SPY, I think. So, I mean, it's easy for anyone to do and it's, it makes things, it just makes things simple. I, I can't stress that enough. It just makes investing simple. So another reason to invest in the S&P 500 is that the long-term data for the S&P 500 is very promising. You can just, you can look up a chart, you can look up a chart on the S&P 500 and you can look at it from the very beginning all the way until now and you can see how the trend line continues to go up no matter how much of a drop. You know, with the Great Depression, you could look at the uh, World War II, after the World Wars, World War I, World War II, after uh, the, you know, the dot-com bubble and like around 2000, 2008, the real estate crash, you know, you can see the drops of it, but you can also see how it continually keeps to rise. So investing in this for a long-term period of time, you can see that I actually did a, uh, actually did an example of that where, you know, if you invested in it for $40 a week for, you know, uh, one year, five years, 10 years, 30 years, and 50 years, and I gave you the examples of each one of those, and I think that video should be popping up right up here, I think right up there, right about now, so if you wanna see more about that, then you can check that video out. It, I mean, I, you know, $40 a week, you know, you think probably doesn't sound like much, but it's crazy how using the compound interest, which is one of the examples that I mentioned, how using that, and uh, investing over the long period of time, it helps your investments grow exponentially. So long-term investing in the S&P 500 looks, it's very promising. Another advantage of investing in the S&P 500 is that your risk level drops. You know, like I said, you're not investing in a single company. You're not investing in Coke. You're not investing in Apple. You're not investing in Tesla. You're not investing in Amazon individually, you know, so it's not like you're investing in just Amazon and if their stock price goes up, you know you're doing good. But if their stock price drops, then that's it. You know, I mean there's no there's no uh, insurance basically. You can't there's no there's no risk management tactic with it. It's just it is what it is investing in individual stocks, but investing in, you know, the 500 best uh, companies in the market, uh, it's you know, if one com if one company's doing bad, you know, you probably have, you know, another company doing good. You know, with everything going on in COVID, there was, there was companies that they weren't doing good. Like retail industry, that was that was doing pretty bad because nobody could nobody could go to the stores and buy anything. But then there was other sections of the market like the technology sector, which was doing fantastic with Amazon, YouTube, Netflix, everybody was using technology. And with this hurricane that just happened, Hurricane Laura, I hope everybody's okay. I know that the, it did a lot of destruction in Louisiana, Texas kind of border right there. So praying for everybody out there that they're uh, doing well, nobody's injured. But you know, with uh, that that went on, I feel like this is a good time to get into the market because because of the disaster relief and all, all the companies that kind of fall under that umbrella, those companies are probably gonna be going down there. They're probably gonna be helping out, you know, Red Cross, things like that. And so, I mean, the disaster relief sector of the S&P 500 would probably be taking a spike, which would probably be good for it. And uh, it probably, you know, if you got in now, it probably it might help somebody, it might help you out. But uh, you know, that's just my opinion. Don't just don't solely invest based off of that. That's just my opinion. Make sure to do your homework. And we got one more advantage of investing in it. Let me get to it. So another advantage of investing in the S&P 500 is that you will sleep better at night. All those advantages that I listed, the compound interest, how it's gonna to work to your advantage, how you're betting on the entire stock market, how it's easy for anyone to do, how you know your your risk your risk level goes down by investing in it. That all of those combined, all of those uh, advantages that I've previously listed, all of those go in together and allow you to sleep better at night because you're not worried about you know, so, you know, say somebody 
doesn't like Coke and then they post it on Instagram or something like that or say that it, with Tesla, Elon Musk said that Tesla's uh, stock price was too high and that caused it to drop. I mean, what the stock market's really just a bunch of opinions. So I mean, if somebody says something negative, you know, people are influenced pretty easily nowadays with social media and all types of the media. So I mean, if some if you know if somebody has a bad opinion of it and it drops and say you were invested in Tesla when uh, Musk made that uh, comment, then your the stock dropped. But if you invest in the entire market with the S and P 500, then you know you're not really worried about that type of stuff because you know if one's doing bad another one's probably doing good and at the end of the day the entire market always ends up going up it always rises you know you can even you can see the trend line of it on a graph if you were to look that up so at the end of the day with all of those advantages it really allows you to sleep better at night well guys those are some of the advantages of investing in the s p 500 i hope that you really uh you know i hope that you take advantage of them it's a good way to invest i mean if warren buffett benjamin graham tony robbins they all suggest it then you know they got it it's got to be good i mean those guys those guys know know what they're talking about so i mean just make sure to do your homework as with any investment but i mean this one's a pretty dead set that's a good investment well I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please scroll down, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel below. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at RWM Finance. Check out the list of books in the description bar below. A lot of them talk about investing in the S&P 500, like The Intelligent Investor, uh, Buffetology, and uh, Unshakable and Money by Tony Robbins. Uh, so make sure to check those books out. Remember guys, I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure to tune in for the next one. As always, thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.